Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. On today's episode, I'll be showing you a recap of the best photos and clips of January and February 2024. Customer complains backup camera lines not showing. Fixed it! This truck was brought in as a customer tried to wire a power bar in his vehicle but it caught on fire. The person who shared this clip said this customer's truck had a wheel bearing fill on them, which got the gear oil in the hub so hot and caused this to happen. He also mentioned these are an older style of wheel hub that requires gear oil and most likely was not checked by the driver in a while. This car was driven in like this as the customer wanted to know why the car feels squirrely and all over the road. Once the shop told the customer what repairs needed to be done, the customer declined repairs. And this customer's SUV was towed and as they said they had a fire under the hood. The customer ran their engine low on oil and drove for long enough like this that multiple connected rods busted through the engine block, but the engine still ran and melted a fuel line in the process. The customer also said to the shop that they didn't hear any strange noises prior to this incident. Customer states rear camera image is distorted and lower half of image is cut off. The technician found that the rear camera lens was dirty, so he cleaned it off and told the customer that the lower half of the image is actually just a rear bumper. And this vehicle was brought in as a customer said the engine runs rough. The customer had just installed four new spark plugs and this is how he gapped them. The shop installed new spark plugs and it fixed the issue. The snowblower was brought in as it does not start after a customer installed a new spark plug. The customer had installed the incorrect spark plug and managed to damage the spark plug hole and cracked a cylinder head in the process and declined to have it fixed. The customer is now back as he did not believe the mechanic and bought a second snowblower and tried the same thing and damaged another engine. Customer states the rear lights don't work and the service park sensor system appears on the instrument cluster. The customer had recently modified his exhaust and cut it off at the end, which pointed the exhaust towards the wires for the park sensors and lights, which caused some wires to melt over time. And this customer said their vehicle got stuck so they attempted to use the rear tow hook attachment but the female end is ripped and that the rear interior tie down loop was pulled out of place as a customer tried to use it to pull the vehicle out. The technician found the rear tow hook to have no issues and that the customer pulled out this cargo net hook trying to pull the vehicle out of a ditch. Customer states shakes over a hundred. Don't laugh it's paid for. He thinks he needs a bearing. I think he's got other problems. Customer states steering wheel is hard to turn left and right. The technician found the driver's side front tire to be at 8 psi and the passenger side tire to be at 16 psi, which caused a concern. When this truck was brought in for some service work, the technician couldn't help but notice that the customer had half a forest and rocks in his vehicle and on the dash. Completely covered. There's no way your windshield's defrosting with all this. This customer's car was brought in as they said they have a water leak and every light appeared on the instrument cluster. The shop declined to work on this car due to the mold, but suspect that the water leak was from the sunroof drains being clogged. And this customer had asked another shop to replace the transmission on her Jeep, but halfway through the job she decided that she wanted to sell the car instead and didn't want to pay any more labor and asked the shop for her vehicle back in whatever state it was in. Now she is at this dealership to try and sell the car, but was upset that this dealership offered her an offer that was lower than expected. This vehicle was brought in as a customer says they have a grinding noise in the front. The customer just recently bought new wheels and tires online and mounted them on the car himself but didn't check if the wheels cleared the brake calipers. This customer had just brought in their car for an oil change. The technician who shared this clip said the customer had just bought this car and didn't know how much of a death trap this car really was. The customer didn't fully grasp on how terrible the state of this car was and wanted to drive it away. He also mentioned there are really strict rules where he lives and the police was involved as the customer wanted to continue driving their vehicle. The car was later towed away and sent to a scrapyard. Customer states there's a helicopter symbol on the dash. The technician explained to the customer that it was the check engine light and the customer declined to get it looked at at this time. The technician who shared this clip filmed it with his toaster and said this customer brought on their vehicle as the speakers are making lightsaber noises. And this police vehicle was brought in as they said it started to sound like a squealing pig. <laughs> 
customer states, it sounds like they have a goose stuck underneath their dash. When this vehicle was in for a service, the technician noticed that this customer had all of this underneath the hood of their SUV. The customer said to leave it there as he set up for an emergency. The owner of this vehicle has never changed oil since they bought the vehicle brand new, and it now has 98,000 miles on it. The mechanic tried to drain the engine oil, but no oil came out, and he thinks the noise is from a spun connecting rod bearing. Customer states vehicle will start, but the idle is very erratic, and they can't get the car out of park, and it was towed in. The technician found that the customer had the floor mat on top of the accelerator pedal. And this car was brought in as the customer says the driver's side rear fender liner is falling off, and the horn does not work. The technician also found that the customer was driving on a flat tire, which they did not mention anything about. This Tesla was brought in as the customer tried to install a new steering wheel, but now has multiple alerts and the steering wheel controls don't work. It was found that the customer cross-threaded the bolts on the steering column and broke the clock spring assembly in the process. A customer had their vehicle towed in as it does not start. The technician found out that the customer installed new spark plugs, and ever since they did that, the issue started. The customer installed the spark plugs on the right, which would be for a small engine, like something in a lawnmower, while it should actually be the spark plug on the left. And this customer brought in their car as they said the brakes still squeak after they apparently had a parts store employee help her. Whoever tried to help her used a bottle of orange disc brake quiet and had put it all over the brakes, calipers, wheels, and tires instead of the back of the brake pads. The technician said the brakes were still squeaky. It's wild. Customer states RPM tick marks near 7 and 8 are red and not white. The technician explained to the customer that it's supposed to look like that. When this vehicle was in for an oil change, the mechanics were checking the tire pressures on this customer's car and found that this rubber band of a tire had 137 psi in it. Ooh. It won't even see that because it got so much pressure. That, I'm gonna back away. This customer's 2023 RAV4 hybrid was brought in for a recall, which involves removing these rear seats. Customer states when the gas starts to get low, the vehicle shuts off when you come to a stop, and the RPMs drop. The technician had to explain to the customer that's what happens when you drive with no fuel. The customer also wanted the technicians to duplicate the issue, but brought it in with almost a full tank of fuel. This truck was brought in as the customer says it does not handle right after he installed new steering stabilizers. When the customer had installed the stabilizers, he secured them to the sway bar, which caused his concern. Customer states the front end feels loose and makes some weird noises. The technician found that the customer had tied some rags around the worn out ball joints and some other issues. The customer declined repairs. The last time this vehicle came in, the shop gave a quote to the customer to replace the connectors for the ignition coils. The customer declined repairs and is now back as he has a misfire after he did the work himself. Nope. Customer states stiff fluid got all over left rear tire and caused the tire to go flat. The technician did not find any leaks from the differential, and the customer declined the purchase of new tires. Customer states clicking noise when turning. Oh yeah, I hear only when you like go back and forth, you know, almost, almost like something. Customer states water's leaking inside the vehicle on the rear carpet, and when making turns, they hear water moving around. The technician found both issues to be caused by these bottles of washer fluid. When this vehicle was in for a list of issues, the customer also wanted the passenger side headrest to be pushed down all the way. Headrest goes down. Customer states his car stalls under heavy throttle. The technician found the issue to be caused by this custom cardboard air filter that the customer made. When this car was in for an oil change, the technician found the washer fluid reservoir to be full of vegetable oil. The customer did not get it cleaned out as he said he would try to do it himself with a turkey baster. Customer states driver's side fog light does not work. The technician had to explain to the customer that their vehicle was not equipped with fog lights. This car was brought in as the customer said he apparently just had another shop install new front struts and was told that the front end should settle after a few miles, but it's been a couple of weeks and it hasn't changed. The technician thinks that whoever installed the struts installed one from a different model of Cadillac. Customer states oil light is on and the engine has a bad ticking noise. The customer apparently had another shop just install a new oil pan as the previous one was cracked. Whoever installed the oil pan left this paperwork in the oil pan when they installed it. 
At the time this was filmed, the customer had just bought this vehicle and brought it in for an oil change and an inspection. When it was in the shop, the technician found that the rear subframe was rusted through and other parts of the car was rusted as well. The customer had also tried to blame the shop for the damages. This truck was brought in for a list of issues, but one of the issues was that there was a weird smell when the windshield defroster is on. Customer states the electronic parking brake light is on and the parking brake does not work. The technician found the customer stored its loose change underneath the switch, which held up the parking brake switch and put the system in default. Customer states that the key will not release from the ignition. The technician found that the customer had this hair clip on the shifter, which prevented the car from fully going into park and releasing the key. The small bile mechanic had a service call as the driver says their truck will not accelerate. He found the issue to be caused by this golf ball that was behind the accelerator pedal. Customer said they think the wheel studs broke because somebody was trying to steal their wheels. I'm going to guess it was whoever did these rear brakes. The customer told the technician he does not remember who recently installed the new rear brakes. And this car was brought in for a list of issues, and one of them was that their car gets 37 miles per gallon instead of 38 miles per gallon. And this truck was brought in as a customer said he's having power steering issues, and it sounds like a dying chicken when he turns the wheel. <laughs> customer states after her boyfriend resurfaced the brake rotors at home, the brakes now have a terrible vibration. The technician found out from the customer that her boyfriend had tried using a belt sander to resurface the brake rotors. And this Mustang was brought in as the customer said his brakes haven't worked in a couple of weeks and he's had to use his parking brake to stop. The technician found that the brake caliper and bracket was nowhere to be found, and the customer does not know how this happened. How do you lose a caliper and not know it? Customer states there's a wind noise coming from a window when driving on the highway, and the customer suspects the vehicle doesn't seal properly. The technician found the issue to be caused by the rear window that is covered with plastic as it's shattered. Uh, this is a 2023 Lexus RX with about 2,000 miles on it. They thought they were stuck, so they had their window cut out by the fire department. Stores have electronic latches. There's a manual release in case you ever did get stuck on the inside and the outside. This customer was not paying attention when they left the shop after they got their first oil change done on their car. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. And you can submit clips that you filmed on our website at justrolledinyt.com. Thanks for watching.